I actually want to go and try and compete in the most competitive arena. I think our proposition and what we've done in the UK is showing that we can take the big agencies on and win. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Over the past few weeks, we have been looking forwards to 2021. And let me tell you, there are some fantastic things in the pipeline across the agency, both big and small, which is hopefully gonna make this year just as strong as the last. So let's do what we do best and find out more. Robin, we're gonna start with probably the biggest news of them all, incredibly exciting. This year, Journey Further are gonna be expanding across the pond to the city that never sleeps, New York. I know you're so, so excited for that. Talk us through the thinking behind taking on the American market. So yeah, J Journey Further will be about 100 people strong in the next few weeks. And I've seen enough proof points over the four years we've been in operation to show that with the mission that we set out, the vision that we, that we had and we've set out to achieve, we are doing the right things. And the plan was always to learn the lessons in the UK, create the blueprint for what we've achieved and take that blueprint out into international markets. And the US is the most logical place to go in terms of giving Journey Further the ability to have a voice on a much bigger stage. And I think our approach to performance marketing, our approach to our own sales and, and marketing and our proposition, the community we've built through things like the book club and creating a, an environment for continual learning and development that really resonates with the marketing community that we serve. That whole ethos to life is even more prevalent in the US. And I think that's a great way that we can start to build relationships with the types of brands and marketers that ultimately we know we can help and we can accelerate in terms of their, their business growth. We've learned enough lessons. We've got a solid base. The sort of stars are aligned now. We just need COVID to piss off and uh, then we'll be over there. So one focus for the paid media team this year, Hannah, and I know it's one that you're heading up, are internal weekly debates where you guys get together and challenge each other's thinking on various issues and topics within the industry. Talk to us about kind of where these came from and, and what they're all about. It evolved fairly naturally, like whenever we would sit down as a group to discuss like the best way of doing something, it would always kind of naturally result in some heated, healthy discussion. And I think that's just what happens when you kind of stick a load of PPC nerds in a room together, I guess. I think for us, like we don't want to pigeonhole analysts down a particular journey further approach. Um, we want people to have the confidence to test new things and kind of to go against industry best practices. And, you know, we want to be like the best paid media team. And we're not really going to get there without constantly challenging ourselves and evolving. And I guess the aim is just to get really quite senior analysts just questioning what they're doing and if it's still the right thing to be doing, especially in something like paid media, because it's just always evolving. So we want to have kind of one team with a shared wealth of experience, not kind of individuals just with their own experiences. I know big things are coming for the CRO team in 2021, Johnny, but in some personal news, you are writing a book. That's right. Trying to. Obviously, it's going to be about my passion and my philosophy, which is is experimentation and why that is the best way to make decisions around your organization. So why opinion is so poor at, at making decisions. You know, when you have an opinion about what you to do with your website or your marketing, you're rationalizing customer behavior. People don't think rationally. They are very subconsciously driven. And that is mostly irrational and quite illogical the other interesting thing is i you know i want to use it as an opportunity to get a lot of other people involved in it so you know there's a lot of other uh, fairly influential people around the industry and people that i already know and chat to and it's really good opportunity to get people like that involved and to engage a wider audience as well so why new york then robin what is it about that city which has made you you know choose it as going to be the home of the u.s office yeah there's a few reasons really i love new york new york is um, probably my, my favourite city on the planet. I also think that New York just brings a sort of energy um, and a way of doing business that fits the type of business that we are. And I actually want to go and try and compete in the most competitive arena. I think our proposition and what we've done in the UK is showing that we can take the big agencies on and win. Um, so I want to prove that we can do that again on, the, on an even bigger stage in probably the most competitive part of the States. 
um, because I think a lot of our proposition, the marketing and sales approach that we take and some of the clients that we've got who have bases in the States already will set us up for success. So I really want to test it in, in New York. Tess, welcome to the blog. You're about a month in to the Not Just a Grad scheme, uh, a scheme intentionally called that because it was open to all walks of life. I want to know, did that kind of play a role in what made you apply to, to join us here? Yeah, I think that was that was really appealing when I applied. And I think I really wanted to come somewhere where I knew that the training was going to be so kind of like in depth and was going to appreciate that I was coming from knowing nothing and was going to support that. You can really be coming from any background and can really benefit from it. Now, I know your schedule is absolutely stacked with sessions run by senior members of the team who are currently running you guys through kind of the fundamentals of, of paid media. How beneficial has it been, you know, learning the ropes from the people who are at the top of their profession? You can just tell on sessions how kind of knowledgeable everyone is. And just having them on hand as well, like especially having like a mentor, shout out to Chris, um, who just gets heartened with all my questions every day. Anytime you've got a question, just having that answered immediately is so helpful. I'm just really excited to kind of get to grips with things, getting stuck into like real kind of client projects, I guess, putting everything we've learned into practice will be cool. Now, Hannah, we're actually going to be seeing one of these debates in action as part of next week's vlog, which is super exciting. Can't wait. And uh, am I right in thinking you're going to be going live with some of them too? Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. So yeah, we're going to be doing some um, live debates. So open for anyone to kind of watch them to be able to chip in with questions their opinions um so yeah watch this space and finally robin what's the one moment in the whole process of getting operational in new york that you just can't wait to experience right now it's going to peter luger's steakhouse in brooklyn in williamsburg and having um a strip loin steak and a glass of red wine. That would be success right now. Just leaving these four walls. No, for me, for me, it would be going in a competitive pitch with the biggest performance agencies out there um, and winning a, a decent size account, proving that we can take on the biggest agencies and having the proposition product and service to, to win that work.